What's going on today, guys? Hope everybody's having a good day so far, night, whenever you're watching this. Hope you're doing good. I'm um, just going to do a little day in the life, little vlog here. I'm just kind of messing around uh, the apartment today. Um, so for those of you that don't know or haven't seen, possibly, we skate this backyard ramp a lot here in San Antonio called the San Antonio Blue Ramp. Um, so been kind of working back and forth with the owner for a while on different decal designs and stuff like that. Um, I made a design that you might have seen a while ago that turned out pretty cool. It's just kind of like a, a view of the backyard with like the pool and the ramp in the background. Um, so I am currently going to do a test shirt um, and see how it looks on a shirt because um, he's kind of in the process of taking donations um, for uh, to generate a little money to do some ramp repairs. So I thought it'd be cool to make a little sample shirt and uh, see how he likes it. I'm supposed to go over there tomorrow to skate, so I want to have like a a physical copy, you know, of the shirt. See what he thinks. See if that's something that he wants to move forward with. So I'm working on that right now. Uh, the decal cutter just got done cutting it. If you guys haven't seen the design, this is what it looks like. Designed that from scratch a while ago, just kind of based off of a picture that he posted on their Facebook page. So um, the reason why it's flipped here, this heat transfer is you'll see how it works a little bit later once we press the shirt but um you have to flip the image and i'll explain why after a bit but yeah just figured i'd take you guys along gonna be doing a little something to the car as well so hope you guys just uh enjoy we're just kind of kicking it today so we'll just get right to it so now that we've got everything cut out I don't think people understand that it starts as a full sheet of vinyl and then the cutter just cuts out the image that you load into it. So then I have to come through with this little hook, a little pick, and it's kind of a tedious process depending on how crazy the design is. And this stuff is a lot harder to pick apart than the regular decal vinyl is but this is just heat transfer so i just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at this because this is why you can't really justify making things for dirt cheap because it's really hard to pick all this stuff out for 50 designs or you know you get the idea but all that just to get the outline of the circle out. Now I gotta go through and get everything else out that you guys can't see yet, but just wanted to give you a lowdown on that real quick. Alrighty, now that we've got all this, as you can see, I have another design that helps me not have to pick out every single letter, which I kinda messed up and did a different one, but this one still looks good. Um, but anyway, I've got all this picked out, and the reason why it's backwards is because this is like a protective, a protective like thick plastic. That's what you uh, you put this side down, and this is the adhesive side of the vinyl. So that's the reason why you have to flip the image. And um, we're just gonna get right into pressing this. Now you could do this stuff with a regular like iron, like. Um, like a household iron, but uh, this heat press makes things a little bit more uh, easy as far as pressing like bigger images. It's more consistent. Then you got this on Amazon for like 170 bucks, I think. But um, I, I try not to overthink it too much because it is a shirt. It's, you wanna line it up the best you can, but it's really never gonna be perfect. When you're wearing the shirt, it's always moving around and everything, so. I just try to center it as good as I can or, you know, place it the best I can. Uh, this vinyl, sorry for the shaking table. This vinyl, I think, is recommended to be pressed around like 300 degrees. So I have my press set at 300. I always press 
once sometimes you have to let this stuff sit for a minute before you can peel it um depending on what brand you get i've ordered the same link on amazon and it's been different every single time so um luckily you can peel out pretty quick but this is just the first first design we've got they call it the blue crew which is like the closer homies that that skate more often and have more of the private get togethers so we've got we've got that on the front there hopefully you guys can see all this okay not the most ideal setup here but i always press it once with the clear on and then i peel it off and i will press it once more without the clear on it just to get it really burnt into the shirt again try and you know kind of center the shirt as best as I can but don't think about it too much because sometimes the more I think about it the further off I am so with these it's it does help a little bit um, if the shirt's centered then you kind of use the the boundaries of the of, of the square um, base of the press to kind of even it out on the shirt but Again, I don't, I try not to get too into it because it just seems like I do worse the more I think about it. So there's that. I'm going to let this one cool off for a second because I know it's going to take a minute to, to cure. All right, one last press on the back graphic. Sometimes I like to do the back one first because then you technically press the opposite side, the side you start with. Technically you press that four times in total, but hopefully that wasn't too unbearable for you guys with the shaking and everything, but now we've got We've got a shirt front to back. So if he decides to go through with this, we'll just do a blue ramp probably where this one is. Like I said, the blue crew is like more of the closer homies, luckily that I kind of came a part of, but um, pretty stoked with that. Let this thing cool down and uh, yeah, she's ready to go. All right, we're doing something with these wheels here, all right? So these weren't supposed to be like this brown color. They were supposed to be more of a bronze, and these got powder-coated quite a few years ago. As you can see, there's a bunch of random stuff. No idea what any of that is, but I didn't really love the color in the first place, and I mean, they're, it's okay on this color, but I actually have I have future plans for these wheels, so... I don't know if this color is going to stick. I literally didn't even really prep these or sand them or anything. I just used some alcohol, some isopropyl alcohol to uh, just clean the faces and I'm just going to spray paint them. I do not recommend doing that. I'm literally just kind of messing around. These wheels are cheap, um, not very good finish on them. So I'm doing it this way in case like I want to change the color again. I know that I can easily rub this spray paint off with some brake clean and stuff like that so it's kind of just a test thing a mess around thing so i just wanted to bring you guys along but uh here's the color right here so we're gonna do this and uh, see what it looks like it's gonna be kind of silly on the green but it's just kind of messed around like i said it'll make more sense if you guys see what i end up doing with these wheels and like i said i can change the color up whenever so i'm gonna spray this with like a light coat just to get it covered and uh see how she looks as you guys can see i did a light mask job nothing too crazy i just did two layers of tape and then i just sprayed the rest of the outside of the wheel with some soapy water and uh just gonna do some light coats i'll just take you guys along for the first couple of sprays just to show you what i'm doing here <laughs> This stuff does cover pretty easily on the uh, on the brown, so just kind of doing one of these real light coats to get it all all covered in gold, and then 
gonna let it dry and throw it back on the car. So I will show you guys what's up whenever I'm uh, finished with it. So there we have it. Definitely looks a lot better than the brown. So pro tip as well. Um, I always like to have a darker barrel because it lets the wheel not look as dirty. So basically what I did, as you guys can kind of see in there, once there was obviously overspray that got into here, I just have some of this adhesive remover. It takes the spray paint right off and um, just basically created my own line right there. If you don't want to spend the money on this stuff, um, you can always use brake cleaner as well. Just basically spray it on your rag and then wipe it. And as you can see from this side, you can't really tell that there's any difference to be honest like with with what's behind the spokes and i already did this wheel before so this one's already on the car so especially being on the car with it being dark you literally can't you can't tell so that's just another little pro tip literally like a freaking 15 minute job probably um maybe a little bit more than that but yeah that's gonna be it for this wheel i'm pretty stoked i mean I don't know how crazy it's going to last like to washes and stuff because like I said, I didn't really prep the wheel at all. I just cleaned it and sprayed it. But as far as like how it looks, I mean, I can't really be too upset with that. So definitely not saying like this is how you should spray your wheels by any means. I don't remember if I've said that already or not, but just to change the color. And if you don't really care, I, like I said, I could literally like break clean and all this stuff would come right off. So. Not really that worried about it, just experimenting. So I'll get it back on the car, pull it outside and see how she looks outside. So we've got a little finished product outside in the sun here. Definitely think it looks better than the brown. It's still interesting, but I don't know. It seems kind of ricey, but I don't really care, obviously. If you guys know me, it doesn't really stop me from doing anything just a little side to side if you guys haven't really seen the the brown it's obviously this is on the darker side they should they're brighter than this but i wanted to put the gold in the sun just to really showcase it i love this wrap too because the car is absolutely filthy and you can't tell at all so that's pretty neat but yeah I don't know it's just one of those things that kind of just changes the the vibe a lot makes it look fresher i guess i don't know but yeah there we have it so that was pretty much just a little day in the life just doing some shirts um you know little shirt designs also if you guys haven't seen this is the shirt design on a skateboard this is like one of the first ones that i did did it on but just how it looks on a board compared to a shirt it's basically the same thing just different vinyl but but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed that little little day in the life and uh yeah um that's pretty much it hope everybody has a good one see you next time